All right, so how does this run to the Neumeier Classic compared to all the other tournaments or games that you've played so far? It's really different. Um, we haven't uh, gone to this tournament in like three years. So we wanna go back and win one for all the, our other teammates in the past that weren't able to. Well, I expect to be feeling more at home at this tournament. Andrew's a lot closer, I'm a lot more familiar with the place, and the teams will probably be more our level, so I think it'll feel more familiar to me. It's time to go to Andrews. Ready? Let's go. Go straight in, we're gonna take a team photo, and then we're gonna get straight into the zone. No distractions. We're gonna play as a team and just block out everybody else and have some good old teamwork and stay focused in the game to win. to the rest of this tournament and regrouping. Uh, I'm gonna try some different options on rotations and uh, starting off with some different players to see if we can gain some momentum early and uh, try to capitalize on the game. I think uh, it's important on this game, especially the second game is today, that we uh, get an advantage going into the rest of the tournament. So, But uh, look forward to it. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's important for the seniors. 
uh, we ended it off on a positive note. We're ready. That's We're gonna not use the mismatches. We're ready. Kevin, my friend, you just hit the biggest three of your freshman career. Yeah. How does it feel? Um, very nice. Very nice. I honestly feel so good. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and we did go over a few losses yesterday, but I feel like the way to move forward is to really start anew and start fresh. Look at every game like it's our first, not carrying on the baggage from the last one, sticking together as a team.
about to play your playoff game. What do you guys think is the keys for success tonight? I think just listening to each other and passing the ball, like fast passes, swinging the ball. Because I think we're playing college jail again, and that's one thing we needed to work on was swinging the ball and rebounding. So how are you going to spend your weekend and like just take time to rest before you guys play your last games tonight? Um, so this weekend I think I'm going to take time to rest by going to church and then um, sleeping in for sure, and then also uh, maybe watching some movies or hanging out with friends. So you're about to play your last game of the tournament. What do you guys think are the keys for success? Um, running the five out, moving the ball well, um, rebounding, playing as a team, um, being supportive, making our layups, uh, breaking the press break, and showing good sportsmanship.
think we can win the game by making sure that we play as a team and stay positive throughout it all. Hey, listen, we, uh, we didn't get the result we wanted in this tournament, but uh, I want you guys to understand something. Like I said the other day, this is the first time we played D1 in years, okay? Alright, we're right where we were. Last time I coached the D1 team, the girls team, we didn't even make the top four, alright? So you guys have a lot to be proud of, alright? We had a tough schedule, you guys performed well. All right, we were within, within like four points to be in the championship game, so you guys should be proud of yourselves. Hey, listen, we had adversity, okay, we had four times this tournament, okay, we had adversity during this tournament, okay, but you guys handled everything well, we're proud of all of you, okay? This is a learning experience, okay, there's a lot to be learned from even the losses against Kaya, Alex Jalen, and he's a good ball guy. Okay, even the games that we won, there's a lot, a lot to be learned. We have one more game in the season, and we want to finish strong when we get home. All right? We're happy that we're able to get Sophia and Kyra back. We have to So as this tournament comes to a close, as it ends, how, what do you think is the biggest takeaway for you from this tournament and being able to have that opportunity to hang out with your friends one last time? I'd say that even though we didn't get the win that we had hoped for, I'm really grateful that I got to go on this trip again. After not being able to go up to Andrews for the past couple years, it really made me that much more excited to go this year. I enjoyed having the chance to spend time with my old friends and even make some new friends along the way. And even though I had a great time playing, it was also really sentimental and sad knowing that it was my last tournament and I wouldn't be able to play with these girls next year. Over the tournament, I also learned, and through basketball, I learned that you should enjoy every moment and experience that you get to be a part of, and you shouldn't get hung up on your wins and losses like I have a lot. <laughs> you should just have fun, and you should enjoy the time that you have with all your friends and your teammates. I've been able to have the blessing of playing with my core four girls ever since sixth grade, and over the years, we've made so many memories at practices, games, and especially at tournaments. 
and although we were friends off the, off the court, we became family and grew closer together through basketball. And the memories I've made with those four girls and even the girls who've joined the basketball team over the years, I'd never trade it for the world. And it's probably one of my best experiences and memories uh, from HAA. Hurricanes on three, family on six. One, two, three. Hurricanes! Five, six, family!